let me show you what you can do with uh, Houdini 123 Slice 2. So this tool is all about slicing geometry. So I'll turn off the random color for visualization. So as you can see, slices geometry, x, y, z direction. You can also offset your cuts. So this is a very handy option if you want to localize your cuts. And you can also scale them. This is a practical example how you can use offset and scale. Uh, let's look at these ornaments in here. So I started with this simple geometry. I've cut it just at the top part, bend it, and now you can see I'm, I'm just cutting it at, at the tip so I'm not wasting geometry on the bottom. That's really interesting to play around with it. Now notice if you start to scale how it just pinches to one side. If you want to keep it in the center, you can just set the offset to a value that is 1 minus this x scale. So in this case 0.6. And now it's in the center. But as, as soon as you move it, it starts to offset. So what you can actually do is like copy this parameter, paste it the reference, and put 1 minus this value and now when you scale it it will be in the center and you can still offset it like let's say plus 0 0.1 and I can scale it but it's in the center and it's offset so you can play around with it and if you like maybe you can also save it as a, as a preset so you can use this anytime Another option you have, you can also cap the input. So in case your geometry has holes, you can cap it. You can use standard methods, triangles, standard stuff. And you can also split the cuts. Currently geometry is just cut, but it's a single object. We can also split the cuts. Now, each, each piece is, is uh, an individual slice. So, if we display it like this, you can see it just slices of geometry. Now you can also uh, cap the cuts, so this will fill the cuts with the polygon. You can choose again the method you like. And you can also create a group per per this uh, caps. So you can change any name you like. And I set up this is very handy if for example you can change the normals of the cuts you can apply materials or change color and do whatever so it's really handy ha to have this group available and the last thing you can use is the add cut ID number so each each cut will will get an, its own number you can use it later for whatever ID so now you can see each cut has its own individual number if I change the number of slices you 
can select each cut. Now the reason that I decided to create this tool is because it is a very useful modeling tool and I knew I could, I could use it in my workflow but there weren't any other solutions that worked the way I would like. For example, you can see the mesh labs, it just doesn't work with this simple plane. Whereas with the slice tool, it works perfectly. And another example is this piece of tire. So if I go this to this segment, you can see when I slice it with the tool, works great. Can change the number of slices, no problem. Works on every axis. But if we go to the mesh slice from Houdini Labs, you can see we get errors. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really work. So this works more the way you would expect. And is and is more reliable. You get perfect results. So this was a quick little demonstration what you can do with with this tool and how we can use it. And uh, hope you like it. And I'll I'll do more more specific demonstration how you can use it how, can, how you can build a tire or how you can use it in other ways in in later tutorials thanks for watching and see you in the next one